Overview of Bioseparation Segment 2 With me again, Yusuf from Institute Technology Bandung Previously, we have discussed about the characteristics of bioseparation In this segment, we will discuss four major steps in bioseparation and finally conclusion the first step is removal of insoluble, which consists of filtration, centrifugation, and cell disruption. Primary objective of this step is to remove solid from the liquid solution with little improvement of product concentration or quality. The second step is isolation of products, which consists of extraction and absorption. Primary objective of this step is to isolate the product of interest, which results in a large increase of product concentration. The third step is purification, which can be carried out with chromatography, precipitation, ultrafiltration, and electrophoresis. Primary objective of this step is to purify the product of interest, which results in a large increase of product quality. The fourth step is polishing, which consists of crystallization and drying. Primary objective of this step is to achieve the highest possible purity, which is often the case of pharmaceuticals. This table shows a typical processing profile to produce an antibiotic, which comprises of filtration for removal of insoluble, extraction for isolation of product, chromatography for purification and crystallization for polishing. The data clearly shows that the biggest increase in concentration comes in the isolation step, but the quality increases most dramatically during the purification. We shall have a look how the four major steps are applied in practice, such as in the production of ethanol. After fermentation, the first step is removal of insoluble. The yeast and residual solid are removed in the beer still, where ethanol and water are vaporized. The more volatile heads are removed in the purifying column, which represents the step of isolation of product. The final purification and polishing are obtained by removing the more volatile ethanol from its remaining contaminant, water, in the rectifying unit. Another example is the production of insulin, which is more complex. The process can be divided into four main sections. Fermentation section, primary recovery section, reaction section, and final purification section. After fermentation, centrifugation is chosen to remove the insoluble. The separation steps are carried out many times with different separation processes to achieve the desired concentration and quality before being freezed right to obtain the final product. Because bioseparations are so diverse, the bioseparation cost as compared to the total production cost varies from one to another depending on the specification and final product quality, with pharmaceuticals products have a higher bioproduction cost compared to other bioproducts such as organic acids, enzymes and many others. In brief, there are four major steps in bioseparation. The first step is removal of insoluble to remove solid from the liquid solution with little improvement of product concentration and quality. The second step is isolation of product to isolate the product of interest which results in a large increase of product concentration. The third step is purification to purify the product of interest which results in a large increase of product quality. The fourth step is polishing to achieve highest possible purity which is often the case of pharmaceuticals. You may want to check this video in YouTube for a better visualization about bioseparation. In the next module, we will discuss about filtration and microfiltration. Until then, I am Yusuf from Institute Technology Bandung.